welcome back to the channel and welcome to how to paint a fiberglass mini bonnet episode two i left you in episode one where we just put the high build primer down done four coats of that so there's the bonnet it's all cured down nice overnight and now we can go in on this next stage which will be using da discs we've got some 320 grit and we've got some 500 we'll start off with the 320 on a block start knocking this back just go over nice and lightly taking the many then rough edges off and then we'll go in with some guide coat now guide coat is an application that you put on top of your primer and it's basically a visual aid you can get this in aerosol form but i tend to use the powder form which is nice lasts a lot longer application sponge wipe it over the primer and it will leave a black layer of like powder dust over the top and then you just go down with your sandpaper as you knock that back and it's basically like i say a visual aid it just helps you start to flat and get all the marks out the primer so i'll stick you in time lapse you'll see me whiz through get this prepped up and then we can move on to the next stage and i can show you the base coats and things like that see you in a bit Give you a little talk through on that last time lapse the first stage on that i went in with the guide coat and we guide coated the bonnet first and then i went in with a 320 disc with the soft sponge on the back and flatted the guide coat back so you lose the black and you take your first layer of primer off which sends it sort of flat and then i moved on to doing the guide coat again and then went in with a 500 disc and you're basically knocking back the guide coat again and you're knocking them 320 scratches back and you're getting a nice smooth finish with a 500. So that's finished that piece, that's good for base coat now. The next stages on this will be dropping the base coat down. So as I said, we're gonna have a portrait to this side and we're gonna have a bonnet stripe down here and we'll have the original Mini Cooper logo on the front here. So the first thing I need to do is drop a bit of white base. I'll pin line this piece out on the bonnet We'll drop a white section in there and then where I need the portrait I'm going to dust in a patch of white and then we're going to go in and we're going to do some blue and I'm going to fade the blue in so I've got the oval of white with the faded blue coming round. You'll have blue down the centre here and blue to the side of this bonnet stripe. The colours that we're using I've got a Ford metallic blue which is this one here so that's a really nice blue. We've got that one so that'll be the main colour. I've got four frozen white for the bonnet stripe and the piece where the portrait's gonna go. On the actual bonnet stripe, once I've put the white down on there, I've got some white pearl. So I'm gonna drop a white pearl top on top of that white base just to give it a little bit of pop. So then the next stage is we've got fine line tape to do the bonnet stripes and masking and we've got some paper so it can mask out the opposite sides of the bonnet and we don't need to get any overspray on. The gum that I'm gonna use for doing this is the Iwata Impact Junior. Little mini jet gun, so this will be perfect for this sort of size. Great atomization, and it'll be perfect for dropping these base coats down. So I will see you in the next step and you'll just see me in the time lapse, be masking out and you'll see these colors going in and I'll give you a talk through once I've completed that stage. See you in a bit.
give you a little talk through on them time lapses. So we have all the bonnet prepped, got it all into primer, we've done all them stages all the way along and then we moved on to the base coat. And the first stage on the base coat I did was I blew and tack ragged the primer bonnet off before I'd done any spray and gave it a panel wipe down. And then we went into the Ford Frozen White in the Isle of Otto Impact Junior and we put a band of white down there and we put an oval of white here. A couple of coats on each piece, let that cure off and then I went in with some green fine line, three mil fine line and put the stripe in. Mask that white stripe off and then we went in with the blue, which is the Ford metallic blue, we went in with that one in the Isle of Otto Impact Junior and I was just dialing in the fan pattern as I was coming round this edge here, I was dialing it in so I didn't get a lot of overspray on this piece here that I needed for the portrait. Went round, dropped two coats of the blue in, and then gave it sort of a drop coat, dusted over. So we've got a nice even coverage all round, all the edges are nicely covered. So we've done that stage, I let that cure down, and then I re-lined the stripe, masked the rest of the bonnet off, and then I went in with the PS290 with the white pearl and give that two to three coats of the white pearls probably not picking up on the camera but that's got a nice coverage of white pearl on that so when that's clear coated later on in the stages in the next part that should nicely shine up so i hope you've enjoyed this video on the second episode of the base coats and the prep stages of the mini bonnet if you're new to my channel don't forget click that subscribe press the notification and if you're already subscribed welcome thank you for all the comments it's much appreciated and i will see you in episode three and it will be the artwork here and then we've got some text to drop over the top of this a little bit of metal flakes going to be dropped in on this stripe as well and then we've got the original cooper logo to put on the front Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.